YouTube, friends and family. Boy, the bad wolf, you got it right. All right, so thanks for checking in. I appreciate all of you guys, the donations, the subscriptions, uh, the views, everything, comments, awesome sauce, guys. Definitely appreciate it. Um, that being said, let's get right into this. We've got lots of stuff to cover. Um, so for these people who say that, you know, oh, my birth certificate, my social security card, they're not bonds, my marriage certificate is not a bond. Okay, you guys, we're about to disprove that right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize to you guys because I don't have my social security card or my um, uh, birth certificate and all that stuff with my bond numbers on them because I just sent it off to get my final passport. Ah. <sighs> So, but I wanted you guys to get a jump start on this. I've already done this. Um, I just re-came across this information, so that's why I wanted to uh, just go ahead and have you guys do it so that you can see it for yourselves, all right? So, behind me is the website Treasury Direct, okay? So, down in the link uh, description, there should be a link for this. If not, you're going to want to go. Sorry, I'm going to be uh, kind of uh, do this here like this. So, you're going to want to go to treasurydirect.gov, Okay. And you're going to want to go to the tools section or task a uh, little bar up there, tab rather. Once you go there, um, you're going to find a little section that says calculate your uh, the value of your paper savings bond. Um, and it'll say get started. You go through it that way. OK, if not, if you want the direct, it's treasurydirect.gov um, forward slash BC forward slash SBC PRICE. OK. And that will take you directly to this particular uh, page with the calculations on there. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, as you see, um, so basically you want to find out what you're worth to the federal government. What what that piece of paper that, you know, your Social Security card, your um, uh, birth certificate, things of that nature. You want to see what that value is. What are you worth to them? All right. So when you get to this page, you're going to take that red or black number that's on the back of your uh, cards. It might be uh, on the front left corner, it might be on the back. You'll see it. You've seen it before. It'll be red and black. All you're going to do is put that information right here where it says bond serial number. All right. Once you do that, you're going to put your the issue date in there. The issue date is the month and the year you're born. So for me, you're going to go 04 forward slash 1976 or whatever year you were born, okay? Just like that in that form, format. In the denomination, you're going to put uh, put that up to 10000 and that'll show you everything below that because if you start off with like a dollar or five dollars or whatever else, I'm sure you guys are probably worth more than that at this point in time, um, especially if you like the wolf, you know, you've been around for a while. So that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. Now over here it says series EE bonds. Now, what that is, is typically most of them are going to fall under that, but it's a it's a range in which those particular bonds were issued. Um, so depending on like mine, mine would be. Uh, let's see here. Mine would probably be under either savings, notes or e-bonds. Those are a little older. So anything newer is going to be up here. So after you run this, OK, you put your information in so you're. You'll probably leave yours as EE bond just to start off with. Put up to 10000 Put in your, your bond number, which is located in red or black numbers on the back or front of your you know uh, bond material. Your month and date of year. So you know two numbers for the month, four numbers. Two numbers for the month, forward slash, four numbers for your year. Then you're going to hit calculate right away. Okay? And once you hit calculate, it may or may not give you an error and say that, you know, it's not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because if you read up here, it says impossible series denomination issue date section valid issue date for $50 savings notes are valid through 1967 through uh, 10 of 1970. So for me, because uh, I put, when I ran this, I put mine as savings notes. And savings notes means that they're valid, they have to be valid between 67 to 1970. All right, so I don't qualify. So mine is probably an E bond is what they're probably going to consider mine to be. So that's why I say when you do it, you might have to do it a couple times to see which exact one that yours falls into. But that's basically it, guys. Once you do this, you'll see how much your material is worth just sitting out there being traded and that they're utilizing and you don't even know about it. All right. Now, um, 
the one guy who taught me about this basically says that like when um uh if you contact them and the various agencies associated basically uh and tell them that hey this is your property you're you're claiming it um and you want them to stop using utilizing it now i haven't done this part but he says that they will actually uh send you that information or send you the the monetary amount because it's yours you're claiming it um and you want to close that account um once again this is for educational purposes i have not done this um like i said i i come across so much information that really it's like you know thoth in the in the you know library i'm, I'm just going to end up stuck in it to the point where i don't even get to do almost anything because there's so much to just read 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 i don't actually get to go out there and do 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 so um but once i get mine back i'm gonna check mine out again i haven't done this in probably like three or four years and it was worth a considerable amount i didn't know you could close it out and and try to recoup those funds uh so that's an interesting thing now, i'm not saying you should or shouldn't because you're grown and you can do whatever you want to do um i'm just presenting the information in an educational format so what you want to do then is hit calculate and it'll bring up your sum of money and tell you exactly how much is sitting there and basically they've been using it because like i said uh as far as they are aware you don't care about the account you don't care about that and because they initially set it up your parents set it up for you but they're kind of the caretakers of it um, because you haven't done anything with it so it's just sitting there unclaimed all right and it's going to continue to grow so that's also why one of the reasons when you, you know, do certain things, like let's say if you, um, you know, harm somebody, kill them, whatever else, things can be written off against some of these accounts. Um, if you, you know, somebody has perished, that social security card, that number, that um, birth certificate uh, is now closed. And once that happens um, of the person, let's say you, you killed them or something, okay, you've damaged you know, the United States. That's why usually when you see these things in court, it'll say the United States versus so-and-so is because you've actually destroyed some of their property. Their bonds are now closed, closed, closed. They can't make money off of them. Okay. So you've damaged them. That's why you see that usually somewhere in there, they'll have, you know, U.S. or U.S., you know, uh, the United States, a corporation or whatever. Uh, but anyway, so that's it, guys. So what you want to do, once again, is go to treasurydirect.gov and uh go to tools and under tools you're going to find the calculator so be wise be smart see what you're worth out there to these people don't think nothing's going on once again i appreciate each and every one of you guys these subscriptions are increasing so thank you um i'm going to continue to keep bringing you guys this information because you guys seem to keep liking it um i'm gonna have some more videos coming out it's just a matter of when i get more time and do my research because like i said that's the one thing about this channel. I do not bring stuff that isn't factual, truth, that I've researched. I've gone through it. I've done it, used my information, seen what it is. Um, now, is all of it, cannot any of it be like manipulated? Of course, because they're the ones pulling the strings. I'm just trying to wake your minds up a little bit and get some more uh, new people out there woke. So that's about it. Enjoy yourselves. Um, it's the weekend here, and I'm fin to go out and enjoy myself. So you should do the same. Make sure you love yourself, everybody. Take care of your family and friends and, um, you know, go get that information. All right, guys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.